Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. For today's video, I'm going to be giving myself a dry manicure. For those of you who watched my at-home DIY pedicure, this is gonna be the manicure version. I'm basically gonna use all of the same tools that I bought from Sally's or that I already have from my pedicure tutorial just on my hands because everything that we used in that video can basically work just the same for my hands. The biggest thing I wanna talk about about in this video which we'll get more in depth to when we get to that step is cutting your cuticles I know everybody has been saying that like you're not supposed to cut the cuticles and all that stuff but for me it's kind of in my opinion like a necessity you'll see the before during and after of why I cut my cuticles and how I cut my cuticles for those of you who are thinking about giving yourself a manicure I am giving myself a dry manicure because I'm going to be putting gel polish on my nails it's just a personal preference this is one of the ways I was taught along the years of being a nail tech. If you're going to be using regular nail polish, definitely soak your hands. Just do basically the same steps of my at-home pedicure, but just in like a hand bowl. Just soak your hands, use cuticle remover, all that stuff. But today I will not be using any of that stuff because I want my nails to be as dry as possible. Anyways, this is going to be my before. And as you can see, they're a mess. This is literally only three to four weeks of me not giving myself a manicure. I know it looks crazy and I promise you guys, I do everything to make sure my cuticles are always hydrated. I have a cuticle oil in my car. I have a cuticle oil on my nightstand, in my purse. Wherever I can have cuticle oil, I have it. It's there so I can use it and I do my best to use it as much as possible because that's really important to keep your cuticles hydrated. With my job, I am constantly typing, moving things like heavy things and my hands just get so so dry it just ends up being such a wreck no matter how much cuticle oil I use my cuticles literally just soak up the oil like like that if you can look closely you can see that my cuticles actually attach to the nail bed which is normal and they grow with my nail but what happens is not my entire cuticle does that only half so I end up getting these really painful splits which turn into really painful hang nails which then cause bleeding it just ends up being really sore and it gets a little bit puffy sometimes it's so painful like these hang nails it's literally like that scene that I kind of don't want to talk about but I just have to use it as a reference but that scene from Black Swan <gasps> It's really crucial for me personally to give myself a manicure where I'm cutting my cuticles because if I don't, it ends up being really painful for me. It's been like this for a long time and honestly, I really prefer the way my fingernails look without cuticles anyways. Really quick, everybody thinks that the cuticle is protecting your nail bed from any like incoming bacteria, which is true, but when you're pushing back the cuticle, that skin is still gonna be attached to the nail plate. It's not like we're ripping off all the live skin. We're literally only taking the dead skin, the part that's raised above the nail plate that is white, because you can see once it's dead, it's gonna be like white and gross looking and ashy looking. So we're not taking that layer off. That's protecting our nail plate from bacteria. Just putting that out there, okay guys? First things first, we wanna shape our nails. Now, my nails are very short. Usually I would put extensions, but I'm kinda feeling like being a short gal today so I'm just gonna shape them and remember just the same thing as our DIY petty is we want to file in one direction because remember the fibers of our nail plate are crossed and if we file back and forth then we're gonna be more prone to get split edges so we want to file in one direction that way it looks nice and smooth and the fibers stay in one direction so we're just going for a short squoval which is square with rounded edges also fun trick that I learned when you get a new nail file they're usually really rough on the edges because you know they're pre-cut out for mass production a fun thing that I learned is to take that nail file and take your buffer and rub the edges against the buffer and that will help dull your nail file so that way you won't really cut yourself 
because trust me when you cut yourself with a nail file ugh, it's like a paper cut it's not fun next is pushing back the cuticle now you want to do this very gently because you don't want to actually scratch the nail plate I just push back I want to do it so all that skin that's further down my nail plate and attached to my nail plate is pushed back where it should be like right where the end of the nail plate is slash cuticle definitely modify this manicure to your preference your needs your pain tolerance I would say but yeah we're just gonna push it back so it's all even and as you can see as I'm pushing it back all that dead skin lifts up that's what we're gonna be cutting you can also see that there's like layers of debris that are still on the nail plate and those are white as well and we don't want that because that's gonna grow with our nail growth and over time that's gonna cause our gel polish to lift up and we don't want that either we're gonna do our best to get rid of that excess white debris on our actual nail plate as well after pushing back our cuticle to do that I use a nail drill now I understand not everybody's a nail tech and not everybody has expensive nail drills and stuff like that but this is the nail bit I use and I actually bought this from a, a old co-worker of mine who she does nails and she's amazing and she has an Etsy shop where she sells nail bits I love this one I think it's number 14 I can't remember it works great it's not abrasive at all so it's not actually going to really damage my nail plate it's literally just gonna get rid of that white debris but if you don't have a nail drill and you don't use nail bits totally fine you can definitely use your buffer just use the edges use the corner and really get in there and just try to get rid of all of that excess debris but again I just use my nail bit so I'm just gonna run this through where my cuticle is and get rid of all that excess debris and also if anything is still stuck to my nail plate that will come up as well as I'm drilling then you can see that everything comes up and that's literally all I'm gonna cut is everything that's raised that looks ugly that's white that looks bad no we're gonna cut it off next step would be to use the same nippers that I got from Sally's Beauty Supply and we'll just literally nip it now some people might be kind of scared of nippers totally cool I get you not a problem but it, since it's already raised it really doesn't hurt you modify this manicure to whatever suits you best if you are too afraid then don't do it that's totally fine so I'm just gonna cut it and I love to do this because I kind of make a little game out of it to see if I can get like the whole cuticle in one piece I've never had any issues guys if you take your time and you just do it slowly you'll be just fine I promise you oh yeah that's a good one right there guys look at that one whole piece winning when you're cutting your cuticles if you're cutting it and it hurts that means you've gone too far clearly like it should not hurt guys you literally should just be cutting the debris that's raised off like that's it if you're hurting yourself or bleeding then that's when you're cutting that live tissue and that's when it's gonna hurt if it's hurting you're probably not doing it right if it doesn't hurt and it's satisfying at the end of the day because you know you're getting all this yucky dead skin off then you're probably doing it right yeah! so once our cuticles are all cut and we feel fresh and revived again we are going to buff our entire nail plate now I have excess gel from a previous manicure still left on mine so buffing is really important because it's going to even out that gel with my nail plate because we want our nail plate to be really nice and smooth we don't want like nail plate old gel nail plate you know you're gonna have bumps everywhere that's not good no one likes bumpy nail polish right so buffing out the nail plate just make sure it's smooth and even and again you want to do this in one direction so up down or side to side I like to do up down because once I finish the nail plate I can just go across the edge of my nail and make sure it's all nice and smooth down there as well next we're just gonna cleanse the nail plate with acetone or alcohol anything that's gonna really dehydrate my nail because we want it to be as dry as possible so our gel polish sticks to it right then we're ready for primer I love to use primer I use primer for everything it's amazing I use young nails protein bond primer I'm not sure if you can buy it and not be licensed maybe online somewhere I love it but there's a million other primers out there that you can get at Sally's anywhere else and it just really Really helps make the polish stick some nail techs prefer not to use it but I love it I think it works great it works great for me so again you modify it and do whatever works best for you and what this is doing is it's creating a tacky layer if you were to touch it it would literally be tacky like I almost put glue that's drying on my nail plate and that's really gonna help my base coat so for base coat I use gelish I love to use this because I'm using OPI and I really actually don't like OPI 
gel color base coat. Gelish works great for OPI gel color. So we're gonna just do one layer of our Gelish base coat and we're gonna cook that for 30 seconds. When you're applying gel polish and even regular polish, you wanna do really thin layers. You do not wanna like glob this stuff on. I'm gonna use OPI Colors Big Apple Red and Where Did Susie's Man Go? Like, Where Did Susie's Mango? Mango? <laughs> So funny. OPI has the best names. If you want to do design, do a design. This is just what I'm doing. I only do one hand because I'm honestly I'm not talented enough to do my opposite hand. So I'm just gonna do this design, but I just found it on Pinterest. Pinterest is a great place to find minimalistic nail designs. My nail art brush and the black color that I'm using are Presto. I love Presto gel products, they're amazing. This black is the best art liner black I've ever used. Seriously, if you do nails and you are looking for a black liner, this is the one you gotta buy. And then as for my other hand, I'm just gonna do Big Apple Red all over, just plain, because I know it's not Christmas time, but that's what I wanna do. After I do my design, I'm gonna cure those for 60 seconds just to make sure my black gel liner actually cooks enough. I'm gonna do one layer of top coat, which I'm just using my Koopa No Wipe Top Coat. This is one of my favorite top coats, love Koopa. Then we're done, I don't have to wipe it or anything. Most gel top coats you have to wipe off a residue, but we don't have to because this is a no wipe, so we're saving ourselves a step here. And if you were using regular polish, you would just use your regular polish steps. You know, just go ahead and paint your nails, and then I would clean them before doing top coat, and then do your top coat, and then let them air dry it's as simple as that afterwards it's really important again I can't stress this enough to hydrate your nails and I have cuticle oil everywhere that I think I would need it this is just a cuticle oil blend that I made myself it's mostly almond oil with a little bit of cranberry seed oil which is really good for nail strengthening and then I put lemongrass and tea tree oil because those are my favorite scents. I just love the way it feels. I love the way it smells. And then if you want to put lotion, go ahead and put lotion on. I prefer to use something that's not fragrant. I like to use just plain whatever's going to help hydrate my skin because I did just give myself a dry manicure. I'm really dry around my cuticles and my hands so I just want something that's really going to penetrate my skin. This is my final product. I really like the way it came out. You can see how clean my cuticles look, my skin, I have no hangnails. Like, it looks great in my opinion. So that's why I cut my cuticles. But again, you do not have to cut your cuticles if you don't want to, okay people? Let's just say that right now. Also, for the tools that we have, make sure you watch my at-home pedicure tutorial because I show you how to properly clean and sanitize your tools. That way you can keep them nice and clean and fresh forever if you want. That's all I have for this video, guys. I hope you guys liked it. I hope you guys give yourselves awesome manicures, whether they're with regular polish or gel polish, whatever you guys want to do. If you do, make sure you tweet me snapchat me all the pictures of your guys manicures and pedicures I'd love to see them if you're not subscribed make sure you subscribe and I'll see you guys on the next one bye